If you want to do extend mode from your laptop to your active panel, first you need to be wirelessly connected to your active panel. So you want to be sure to open up the screen share app from your app panel. Hit Windows K to open up your wireless connections. Choose the active panel ID that matches the number that's on your active panel. And remember to allow that presentation here. Let's go ahead and just tap my name. So by default, it's set to duplicate mode, which will just essentially show exactly whatever's on your laptop up on your panel as a duplicate display. If you want to change to extend mode, what you need to do is go to your laptop and hit Windows K again. And then you can hit the change projection mode link right there. You can also hit Windows P, which may be faster. That will bring up these options. So again, that was Windows P. And then you can choose extend. Choosing extend doesn't appear to do much from here. But what we see now is a separate display up on the active panel. And if you don't know much about extend mode, what that allows you to do, it allows you to open up any application and then drag between your connected displays. So I'm just dragging things to the right and I can see that active inspire now is opened up over on this side. Touchscreen does work across extended displays, which is nice and convenient. So you would be able to essentially have students working on a flip chart up here or whatever it is and you'd be able to have something completely different such as email or whatever else opened up on your laptop display where students would not be able to see it. One thing I do want to point out here with extended displays, especially the first time that you attempt to do this, you may notice some black bars on the side of the screen. If you have that issue, what you want to do is go back to your laptop and from your desktop, right click on any open area and choose display settings. You'll see two displays connected, so this has to be done while you're currently extending your displays. Number one would be your laptop screen. Number two is going to be your active panel screen. So you're going to want to select the display that's having the issue. So in this case, it's going to be the panel and then have it turn blue, showing you that it's highlighted. Scroll down a little bit and then change the display resolution to 1920 by 1080. And then keep changes. And that should solve the issue with the black bars and now you should see 100% of the active panel displays you know, showing your screen. And there should be no stretched images and again, no black bars.